Hi everyone, I'm here at the Zume Fun Day 4 in Luxembourg, in Mondorf. I'm here with Cyril Macchiol, CEO of Zume, and with Cedric Pugliese, Director Commercial. Perfect. Okay, let's start with the first question with Cyril. Cyril, can you tell us something more about Zume? What inspired you to open Zume? Um, I'm a huge fan of uh, anime from the beginning because I, uh, I have a, a big brother uh, nine years uh, older than me. Okay. And uh, he was always into Japanese. So I had no, no chance, I had to go into anime. <laughs> and finally, I wanted to, to prove that the European um, people are able to, to make statues. We are not so bad into, into this because we are not so many companies to do it. Yeah, sure. And uh, so Gara is uh, the first one we, we did. And it's also why I called uh, I called it Tsume because because there is a Tsume on uh, on Gara. Ah, tsume yeah. is a, a claw. Yeah. Uh, and uh, also a claw in uh, in French is um, like a signature if you want. Mm -hmm. So I put my signature Tsume. Oh, okay. Ah, something like this. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Cool. And you opened Tsume in two thousand. Ten. Okay. Yeah. yeah six years ago. So now it's six years ago. So another question also for <laughs> Cyril. We do not know the reason behind the fact that when you present a new license, you almost never start from the main character. So you start Raoul, for example, for Akuto no Ken, Vegeta from Dragon Ball. Any reason why? Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, we, we I, I don't like when people know exactly what we will do. Okay. No, I love surprise. I think that's, that's really better. Uh, you don't know what you will see, for example, this weekend. You, you came here, but you don't know at all. Yeah, no, no, no. But for the other uh, companies, they are always teasing everything, so... So you, you, want, you want to keep the suspense? Yeah, exactly. That's okay. really nice. And also, I choose the character I really love first. <laughs> so you start before from your choice? Yeah, <laughs> a little, a little. <laughs> so now a question for Cedric. Uh, Tsume has uh, rapidly become an international company. So now the product is, uh, we can say, selling worldwide. So yeah. it's selling from US, from Europe, of course, and now also in Asia. But for some product, we saw that you increase a lot the production. So like the last Vegeta, for example, was 3,000 pieces versus the first production, like Gara, that uh, mm -hmm. she really mentioned that it was, I think, around 300, 400 pieces. 400, yeah. So 400. This is, don't you think that this one has start to be the, 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 the real collectors that is, oh, now this becoming more a mass market product? So what is the reason why you move from 400 to 3,000? There are maybe two reasons. The first one is that Tsume is growing. It's growing bigger and bigger. Today we are about 30 people mm -hmm. working in Tsume. And the second fact is that you tell it, that we are growing worldwide. Yeah. And the US market is really big. So. If, Asian if you think of Asian markets, also, Asian yeah. markets sure. Italian market, French market. So the thing is that 3,000 regarding all the world. Or why the last? Yeah, it's not that much. Okay. So I think that in the future we will try to limit the edition, but it will be... <laughs> it's always uh, difficult because each time we are surprised by the, the fast, results. Yeah, fast, yeah. fast selling. selling. You know, uh, it's impossible to know that, for example, Ashirama is a second, a second character that's not a main character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sold in 24 minutes, 2,000 units. You yeah, know, it's impressive. What, what, yeah, impressive. What, what can we do? Uh, we don't know. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I don't know. Even, even ourselves, we can, we can find uh, solutions maybe, but please give, give, give us the solution because we don't yes. know what to do. Yeah. Uh, if we uh, make too much, we have problems. If we make uh, not... Uh, not uh, enough, it's a problem, that's... The thing is that the people are getting frustrated if we don't make enough. Yeah, yeah you, you're right, you want, you want, of course, satisfy all the, the customers that they want to have a Tsume product mm -hmm. in, their, in their collection. Their At house. the right price. At the right price, yeah, yeah, because the price is really correct for your product. Yeah. So another question now for uh, Cyril. Saint Sia seems to be a very productive lineup for, for Tsume. We know that now, maybe today or tomorrow, we've been announcing uh, uh, Sagittarius, uh, and uh, 
the, and you already announced that you plan to roll out uh, uh, two gold and one bronze. Any anticipation which one will be the next bronze? Uh, it's not already uh, decided, but what we, we would you like to see? From what I heard from a lot of collectors, they want to see Sanius. Sanius? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. You're, you'll be lucky, so okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and also another question from uh, Cyril. Uh, Grandizer is really a good news for a lot of collectors, for myself too, for them that I am a really fan of Gunagai. And uh, it's uh, uh, for sure is a brand that's really famous, uh, especially in South Europe. So Italy, France, a lot also discovered in Spain. Do you plan that uh, you want to do other character from Gunagai collection? It's you, it's your uh, plan to do something. Uh, we are now thinking about it because uh, it's a huge success. And uh, first, we wanted to make only one statue uh, because uh, Grandizer is very famous, but. Uh, Right now we are trying to uh, make the production first yeah. because that's a huge uh, uh, production, very difficult to make. And after that, maybe we'll announce something. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, because we love also Grandizer. And I invite, I invite you to go to uh, the booth Iki to check the Grandizer. Uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> that, that, that's, you mentioned Iki also. You have a question also from uh, from Iki. Let me see. Yeah, but Iki, uh, you increase a lot of license. We saw that you announced uh, now also um, Sailor Moon. Mm. You announce also Berserk. So you grow a lot. Are you think to to sell this product in the market? So you think to sell a loot, uh, through specialized store? You want to go to mass market? Because mm -hmm. I think that is really good product but maybe it's a little bit difficult to find. Exactly, you're right. Uh, to be honest, um, I'm always trying to have the quality I need before launching uh, on, um, on the market too much product, you know. Uh, this is only the second year for Iki, so we are still learning. And uh, maybe I wait a little more because we have a lot of uh, offer uh, yeah. to, for the distribution, but I prefer to secure because uh, it, it's sure. a lot of, of uh, products. Uh, you know, when you are making uh, 10,000 or 20,000 products, you need to be sure it's perfect. Yeah. And uh, completely for agree. I, I prefer to go uh, le le level per level, step by step, yeah, step, by by yeah. step and it will be it will be okay. Maybe next year we'll be ready for that. Yeah. And uh, we will try f this year because we have also premium shops. Maybe you know it. No, uh, we have premium shops. Uh, in uh, France, maybe you can talk ah, yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe now. I, I, yeah, because now I also have a question for uh, uh, Cedric. Uh, the, we can say the commercial uh, way to sell product Zume, uh, we already discussed a little bit about this, is uh, uh, Zume want to go more uh, on a direct sale, so direct to the end user, or they want to continue to work also with reseller. Because also we, uh, we discover, I think that in France and in Italy too, that uh, there is a strange phenomenon on the reseller side that they not respect sometimes the mm. suggested retail price. Yeah. So a lot of customer, maybe that uh, they miss uh, the first day they want to buy the product, they pay more the product. So I think that this one is something that also Tsume don't like to see this kind That's of right. phenomenon. That's so right. and you announced that you want to create a sort of uh, authorized store. Mm -hmm. So That's it's right. a project that is still ongoing. It's uh, actually uh, we have uh, we're working with three shops in France. They are called premium shops. We've got uh, one who's called Mangarake, who is in Paris. Yeah. Another oh. one who's made in Japan, who is in uh, Cagnes-sur-Mer. Mm. So in Côte d'Azur. Yes, that's right. Okay. And another one who's in uh, Belgium, mm -hmm. who is Sinifelstow. And these are uh, really strong partners because they are, they are applying our uh, suggested, suggested retail price. They are applying their working all our ranges so they are working Tsumei, Iki, Yoka World Games okay. and um, you can be sure that you may find some uh, some items at the launch of the products in these stores okay. at the right price at Tsumei's price so there, this is a strong partnership between us and these stores so you plan also to do something like this in Italy? We would like to we would like to, need to yeah. find the the best shop to do it. Yeah, because at the moment, maybe the, the product we have in Italy that uh, the market, especially on the collector product, uh, is moving more on the online, yeah, mm -hmm. that versus the physical. So yeah. A lot of physical stores they close down for the 
crisis, mm -hmm. of course, yeah. they, they did not survive on the margin. So, but let, let's see. This is interesting for sure, interesting news. So, another question for uh, uh, Siri. You hold the license of Street Fighter, so a lot of fans of Game Time they love Street Fighter, they are video game passionate, but since then you only announced and you, you realized Chun Li and uh, Vega. What we can hope to see in the future? That's, that's quite difficult because a lot of people are working on Street Fighter and uh, we could do a lot of things, uh, sure, but uh, um, many people are all, uh, already competing on this uh, license. And we think. Uh, that's uh, so is a license too much inflationated now so they give to maybe, everyone yeah maybe too much people on this and uh, we can do better for myself this is my opinion but uh, th th there are a lot of good things already uh, really I think uh, some uh, competitors are, are good so uh, I think that's not a good idea to, to go on, uh, on this license so we, I prefer to put the energy on, on another this. thing, yeah. yeah. Okay, talking about other things that we saw that you have the license for Iki for Berserk. Any possibility to see some uh, figure or statue from Berserk? We are discussing right now, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> that, really that's possible. Good. That's good news, that's good news. And uh, let's also move another question. So Nico Robin for One Piece was an amazing product. Mm -hmm. And also the sales was really fast. Mm -hmm. thing for Nico Robin. So there is already a schedule for the next one will be so when will we can see the, the main character <laughs> of One Piece? <laughs> bientôt, bientôt. Soon? Very soon. Very, soon. very soon. <laughs> very soon. So maybe on uh, Tsume Fan Day 4? Maybe. Oh, I don't, you don't know. know. You don't know. Okay, that, that's good. Cool. <laughs> that's good. That, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how do you imagine the future of Tsume? Uh, like a big surprise. <laughs> uh, it will be uh, next year will be a very special year because we are increasing a lot of things and I have a very big plan. I cannot tell too much about it, but maybe we will uh, begin to work uh, directly in Europe for some products no. about the production. That's uh, the beginning of a new adventure. Uh, what do you mean? We will maybe open something like a official uh, store to me. Not really. Um, we are talking about uh, making our own, uh, making by the products by ourselves in Luxembourg. Oh well, because at the moment the production, of course, is made in China. Yeah, the exactly. mass production. Yeah. Okay. So there is a possibility we begin to make some things uh, in Luxembourg. And um, last two questions after that we, we, we can uh, go to enjoy again the Tsume Fan Day 4. Uh, last product of Dragon Ball was Vegeta for the HQS Plus line. Which one will be the next? We are working on many different pro products at the same time for Dragon Ball. This is a license we are working a lot. Because Vegeta was a huge successful. Yes, also because of, uh, Dragon Ball is my favorite. Uh, anime uh, so and all the team so we are working a lot on it and uh, you will have not one character but a lot so oh, yeah. don't be afraid <laughs> i cannot tell you more than this yeah, okay. but you already seen uh, something on facebook i think yeah we saw something <laughs> so another question that uh, i am personally interested that uh, speaking on the first of the north star or kuto no Ken, you announced the license in 2014 but since then only one product was yeah. released at the row you teased the last year with Ray. Mm -hmm. At which stage we are? Uh, it's a problem license uh, approval. So I it's think. Not a, yeah, it's not a problem. Sadly, that's only the fact that we are still waiting, waiting, waiting. So we ask every uh, month. We mm. uh, launch, relaunch the the demand, but so it's it's really difficult to work with licensor in Japan. I think. Uh, yeah. That's long. Sometimes with uh, some licenses, that's not fa not easy. So we have to do uh, with that. <laughs> okay, that's, that's very all. Long. Sorry. Th yeah, no problem. <laughs> because it's it's uh, already finished. Yeah, yeah. yeah we just yeah, yeah. the final approval. We don't need uh, any other thing. So. <laughs> so you just see the green light to say, okay, that's good. Yeah. Uh, you can start production. Yeah, exactly. That's right. That's very sad, but. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot on um, Siri, thanks. it was a pleasure. Thanks a lot, Cedric. Thank you, and thank you. Uh, thank you for all the game timers. Bye, Ciao, game time. Ciao, game time.